Hey everyone, this is Brad from iBuyPower. Uh, if you're watching this video, it probably means that you've just received your new PC and you need a little guidance on how to control your system's RGB lighting. Uh, if that's the case, you've come to the right place. Uh, we'll be doing a little three-part deep dive into RGB lighting, how it works, and how you can control it. The first video covers uh, what to do if you notice any of your lighting is off. You know, unless otherwise instructed, always make sure your PC is completely turned off and unplugged while working inside of it. If you get stuck or feel uncomfortable at any point, feel free to reach out directly to our technical support for assistance either via phone, email, or live chat. For this guide, you should prepare the following tools. A few Phillips head screwdrivers and optionally some electrical tape. Make sure your hands are clean and dry before touching any components and never touch any electrical contacts under any circumstance. The first thing you want to do is figure out all the lighting in your system that should be controllable. Uh, for most folks, that includes the case, the fans, the RAM, video card cooler, motherboard, maybe even the power supply, and then any extra interior illumination items like RGB strips. By default, we ship our systems with all the RGB lighting on unless otherwise stated. So if you notice that something is dark that should be lit up, it's likely a sign of a loose cable. Some of these RGB connectors are held in place only by friction so they can slip out during transit. The most common culprits are these three pin addressable connectors. Take your metal side panel off and inspect the wiring. If you see any loose female ends, look for a male end nearby to plug it back into, taking care not to plug it into itself. If the connector feels especially loose, you can add a small piece of tape to keep it together as you close the side panel again. In most systems, all RGB components connect to some central hub which either provides the RGB signal itself or connects to the motherboard's RGB header. If all the RGB items seem to be properly plugged into the hub itself, check around the motherboard side to make sure that the signal header is also plugged in properly. In some situations, this plug may be in a very hard to reach spot on the bottom edge of the motherboard, so we recommend removing the video card to make access easier. If things seem to be plugged in correctly and an item is still not lighting up, or the entire system's RGB lighting seems to be dark, then I would suggest getting in touch with our support for some advanced troubleshooting. In our next video, we will cover the actual control methods for lighting, so stay tuned. If you have comments or concerns, feel free to leave them as a comment on this video or hit us up on social media. Thank you.